Hello and welcome to our 30th C++ lesson and in this lesson we're going to go over constant variables and the constant keyword in general. So let's set up a basic program include iostream include conio.h use namespace standard and create our main function and in the main function we're going to get a character and return zero as per usual. So basically, if you didn't know, constants are basically things that can't change. They're the opposite to variables, which are things that can change. So we make a constant a lot like we'd make a variable. All we do is we use the const keyword, which of course stands for constant, then the variable type, or the constant type, as it would be. So const int, const float, const char, const string. I'm just going to make it int. And then obviously the constant name. And then from here we could either just shove a semicolon on there and that would be the variable and we could set it somewhere later on. Or we could set it up here. Now the problem at the moment with this particular example is we have a constant, which is 50, and then down here we change it to 12. Now that's wrong. We cannot do that. We'd probably get a compiler error of some kind, or if not then it just wouldn't work. Because you cannot change the value of a constant once it has been set. And that is pretty much the rule for constants. If this wasn't a constant, obviously, we could then change this as much as we want because it's now a variable. However, it's a constant, so we cannot change the value once it is set. Now, variables aren't the only things that can be constant. We can also have constant functions and also constant parameters passed into functions. So let's just make a simple function in function. I know it's a very imaginative name. And we're just going to pass it a const int thread and a constant George. Now that would work. All it would be is it would be expecting constant integer variables to be passed to it. So we can use const like that. Or what we can do is we can in fact make constant functions as well. So if I was just going to make a const void function, mostly these are used as member functions and making them const as a member function kind of makes it a read-only function. So it wouldn't edit the member. So if we just want to see out hello and L, then obviously in this particular example, making it a const function isn't very useful, but it can be useful in different situations. So that is the const keyword. It's pretty simple and it's a lot less complicated than all the other bits we've been doing. But that's constants and have a play around with them, they're very useful. Have a nice day.